many reasons you might want to create a page in Schoolbox. You might like to create a curriculum page to give information about the curriculum at your school and all the subjects that are available to study. You might like to create a forms and policies page which contains all of the policy for your school and allows staff to complete forms. You might like to create a subunit page to display resources with one of your units. Whatever the page is, in this video you are going to learn how to create it. There are a couple of ways you can set up a new page. If you would like to set up a page that belongs beneath an existing page, you can navigate to that page, click the three dot menu and select add subfolder. This will add a page directly beneath this page. You can also create a new page by first navigating to the resources area. Remember that your school might have this located in a different space or it might have a different name. So if in doubt, ask your Schoolbox administration team. In the resources area, select the folder in which you would like to create your page. Then click Add Folder. Give your folder a name, then choose a template for your page. These have been set up by your school, so we'll probably have different options to what I have. Templates are used so that you don't have to start from scratch every time. They will contain certain components that your school suggests you use on your page. You can change the components of your page after creating it, so don't be too worried about which template you choose. It is important to note, however, that selecting no home page will create a folder, not a page. In this instance, we are creating a page, so I will choose one of the templates on my list. You can also add a cover image or colour to your page. A cover image is a feature image or colour that can be added to help identify your page. The cover image will be visible in the folders component if grid view is selected. The My Classes or My Groups landing pages and dashboard components if it is a group or class page. The resource browser as a thumbnail image. To set a colour for your cover image, use the colour picker. If you'd like to add an image, you can drag and drop or upload an image file on the drop zone. As you learn in the Understanding Resources and Permissions video, by default your page will automatically inherit the permissions that have been set for the folder above it. We recommend leaving this on unless you need to set different permissions for that page. Once you are happy with your permissions, click Create Folder. Your page has now been created and is ready for you to customise with whatever you like.